There's no lack of idiots on the internet. But for me, there's been nothing more fun, entertaining, and annoying is all of this manufactured drama around X-Men 97, the animated series, coming out on Disney+. Plus. This is one of the weirdest ones for me. It's also been one of the most revealing to watch how GriffTube, ChudTube, Griff Social Media is trying to astroturf and get people to dislike a cartoon based on a bunch of nothing, a bunch of non-issues, creating things, uh, making things up completely out of nowhere to get people mad about a cartoon that, as far as I can tell, has been very well received. A lot of people are excited for this. I'm excited for it. A lot of actual fans of the original cartoon from the 90s are excited for this. But all this manufactured drama, all this made up stuff is just absolutely insane to me. Let's just quickly recap what we've had to deal with before we talk about the storm stuff. So we've had this morph issue where last year they mentioned in one article that morph was going to be non-binary in the cartoon, but there's been no real promotion or advertising for that whatsoever. And we have no idea what that's going to look like in the cartoon. They're probably just going to refer to morph as they, and that's it. I don't think they're going to spend a, a vast amount of time dealing with that in the cartoon, but they, for some reason they believe it. However, there's no proof of that. They've also tried to say Morph is gay with literally no proof of that because he's going to be friends with Wolverine, who, by the way, was a very close friend of his in the original 90s cartoon. But for some reason now, it's it's going to be a gay situation. We've had the rogue ass situation, which, again, it's been debunked. People pulled up frames from the original series and showed that that was not an issue either. So, again, more manufactured drama. We've had people complaining about the fashion show uh, advertised in the Daily Bugle, which I don't know how that's dramatic. The Hellfire Gala has been big <laughs> in the X-Men comics for a while. It makes sense that they would sort of Easter egg it or, or talk about it in some way in the cartoon. I don't know if we're actually going to get a fashion show episode. Again, we don't know. We don't know. There's no point getting bad about it now. <laughs> okay. And uh, what else do we have? We had the, the, the digging up of like the idea of allegories and intention with Stan Lee and the X-Men and whether or not he intended for them to represent you know, gay rights and, and uh, speaking for, you know, black people and marginalized communities and whether or not that was Stan's intention. Totally disregarding that Stan was not the most prolific uh, writer of the X-Men. Sorry, he wasn't. Uh, the most socially conscious writer was Chris, Chris Claremont, who has been very vocal about his intention for the stories he was writing for the X-Men. But they totally skip over that, not to mention Stan is an unreliable narrator when he's recounting what the X-Men were and what they meant. For every video you find where he says it wasn't about civil rights or marginalized people, I can find videos and articles saying the opposite. So they're digging that up too. That has nothing to do with the trailer. So it's been all of this astroturfing, all of it. And now the new goalpost is Storm. They're coming after Storm now. So before we get into this, you have to turn off your brain. I want you to pretend that you just learned how to make fire and you've been scribbling uh you know woolly mammoths on the wall of a cave and now you're about to critique a cartoon okay that's that is the level of intelligence uh from these people they're just really dumb they're dumb i mean sometimes i feel sorry for them but here we go this is the tweet and it says marvel reveals a gender bending masculine redesign for storm for the disney x-men 97 cartoon uh, again, creating a problem that doesn't exist. So rationally speaking, outside of the dumb bubble, this is simply her wearing an outfit that's not her skin-tight, sexy costume that she normally wears off the clock. She's off the clock, and she's wearing this outfit. It's a power suit. Okay, there's nothing wrong with this, regardless. There's nothing gender-bendy about it, unless, you can, unless you're arguing that women shouldn't be wearing you know, uh, sports jackets or power suits, which that's an entire another level of fucking misogyny to unpack. Uh, but let's jump over to this. So, so thinking like them being really stupid here, if you remove, <laughs> if you remove Storm's face from this picture, does it make the outfit look like it's Matt? Is it giving masculine energy for you? And I would say for me, no, even removing, again, this is them. We're thinking like them. Um, it's it's just giving me a really cool outfit. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not saying much of anything, um, but they would have you believe that the, the outfit itself is gender bendy, right? Uh, but just in case you're confused, let's, let's throw Wolverine's hat on this. Wolverine, you're looking absolutely stunning in this. Absolutely fabulous. 
So we have Wolverine's face uh, on this look here, and um, it's still not giving me like masculine gender bendy. Uh, matter of fact, with Wolverine's face on this, um, it tells me that it is still giving more of a uh, feminine silhouette which is what I think the artists were intending. And my apologies to them for this really bad, just sticking Wolverine's face on here. Um, but, you know, I wasn't going to spend a lot of time Photoshopping. I'm sorry. Sorry. Again, we're talking about idiots. So uh, let's move on here. Storm. This is from the animated cartoon in the 90s. And uh, as you can see, Mohawk here, uh, totally giving us punk rocker vibes. Uh, it, was this a redesign for Storm? Or was it Storm Off the Clock? <laughs> I'll have you decide on that one. Either way, the Mohawk is not a new thing for her. Um, what about this design? Is this not sexy enough? Is it a little bit too boxy? No curves? Uh, what is Halle Berry giving them? What is what is she doing for them? I don't know. I, I was never a big fan of these designs anyway, to be quite honest. So I'm not defending them. I, I think that the all leather thing was not cool for the x-men either way though uh what about the haircut and stuff is this giving you guys enough feminine energy um i don't know not sure what about this one this is probably really triggering like women with short hair i remember they got really mad about lois in my adventures with superman they were really mad saying that that was gender bendy because uh she wore pants and and uh blouses with short hair maybe this is triggering for them i don't know I actually really like this haircut on Storm. I kind of wish she would go back to this. I remember uh, when Jim Lee did the the slight redesign to Storm's uh, costume, uh, he cut her hair short. So I kind of like this. This is kind of cool. Um, but again, is this triggering for them? Is this is this too much of a, a masculine redesign? I'm not totally sure. Uh, by the way, this is the way uh, she's going to look for the majority of the cartoon, which is the mohawk and the really tight, super uh, sexy outfit that she wears normally that most people love um if sex appeal and cartoons are important to you to them it is obviously because they freaked out over rogue so uh you know do not worry the power suit look is probably not going to be in many episodes so i don't think you have to look at it very much but uh since we're looking at one frame and trying to judge the cartoon look at this frame of gene from the 90s look at this what is this giving you just curious I mean, you guys keep saying that the new cartoon is taking away the 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 looks and the style of the original cartoon. So, what are your thoughts on Gene here? I'm I'm very curious. Look, the reality is, I love Storm. She's a multifaceted character, one of my favorite X Men of all time. Probably one of those most popular women in comic books. Uh, definitely one of Marvel's most popular women in comics. And uh, she's had a very rich history of different looks and, and different things happened to her, the comics, um, over the years. And I think it's really weird and very telling that these idiots are now trying to pick on Storm in one frame wearing a power suit, calling it a masculine redesign, considering Storm is one of the most badass women in comic books um, of all time. And I don't think she would really care if anybody thought she was wearing something that made her look too manly which is already weird that we're dissecting cartoons that way um but it's 2024 and these guys have to find things to get mad and angry about get upset about this astroturfing of x-men 97 again has been very eye-opening to me it's it signals like a shift in where these guys are in terms of their content because there's nothing uh, i guess visibly woke for them. So every argument revolves around some sort of headcanon or fan fiction on their part where they perceive something a certain way simply to make it that thing. Like who would have looked at that picture of Storm? And we'll go back here uh, to that slide because I want to go back and take a look at this. Um, who would have looked at this picture of Storm here and thought, oh yeah, this is gender bending masculine redesign for Storm? It's, uh, that's what it's giving me. Um, I don't think a lot of people did. I think that the writer of this article, who I know for a fact is a piece of garbage, um, decided to do this, knew exactly what they were doing and wanted to get some sort of hits on their website, which is why I've blocked it out here. Um, even if you can find it, I'm not going to be an advertiser for these guys. Um, this is more manufactured outrage 
And it just goes to show that they are running out of steam. They're running out of things to complain about. And they are scrambling and scraping the bottom of the barrel to try and figure out what they can get people angry about now. What's the next thing you can get people mad about? Uh, so they're trying really hard. So I'm going to give them a gold star for, for an attempt here. Um, but that's all you get. There's no win. There's no W's for you. It's all L's. You guys are complete idiots. Just idiots in every uh, every definition of the word. Um, yeah, I don't know what you're going to do very soon because I think this cartoon is going to be a big hit. You guys are just going to have to deal with that. 